Hey everyone, Aaron here from Rebuy, giving you a quick checkout strategy which entails using a mystery gift to increase order value, improve conversions, and clear out any excess inventory, ultimately driving more gross profit for your store and more revenue for your business. So from a very high level, what this mystery gift at checkout strategy is going to entail and what we'll go through today are ways to offer a mystery gift to delight and surprise customers and discount without reducing the perceived brand value. You also use these mystery gifts to segment customers, boost up AOV, and clear out any excess inventory that you've got sitting in dead stock. And then we'll talk through ways in which we can position mystery gifts as limited time offers to drive urgency and increase conversions in your checkout. And then finally, we'll chat through tagging and segmenting customers that purchase a mystery gift. If you'd like to take a look at how you can set up checkout extensions in more detail, you can take a look at the technical walkthroughs, which will be linked down below. You can also take a look at some more of the strategies that we've seen some of our top brands utilize using checkout extensions as well. So what we'll go through today are the steps for executing this strategy. Essentially, what we we'll want to do is we're going to want to create a mystery gift product inside of Shopify, setting a compare out price to increase the perceived value of this gift, mapping SKUs or other identifiers for fulfillment if needed, and then optionally assigning a limited amount of inventory to create urgency and scarcity. The second part of this, which is optional but recommended, is setting up an automation to tag these customers that purchase a mystery product. Now, these customers that are tagged in this ways can then be targeted for any future campaigns when you need to clear out any more inventory. You can also use this along with your merchandising strategy to ensure that the mystery products are being offered to customers that have purchased them previously. Maybe they've positively reviewed them as well too. And then the third step is gonna be actually creating your rebuy checkout extension, uh, updating the language to improve conversions here, increase urgency, scarcity, and then putting that live in your checkout. So um, if you are on Shopify Plus, you'll have access to checkout extensions and of course this checkout editor. Here's how most checkouts look that are on the, the one page checkout. We've got of course a, a three page checkout that you can use if needed as well too. Um, Shopify really likes the one page checkout. I think this is really great for customers. It offers a really frictionless experience. And of course, there's still ways in which we can improve this with this additional extensibility that you've got with Rebuy. We've got uh, another example of our, our checkout over here. This is gonna be linked in the video down below, um, but this is how we can use some dynamic content to just kind of like improve that checkout experience and, and drive some more urgency and drive better conversions here. But the first step that we're going to want to go through going back over here is setting up the mystery gift inside of Shopify. So if you're in Shopify, you're going to want to head over to your products. You'll hit add product. I've already created a mystery product, so I'm going to look for it over here. And we're going to take a look at this mystery ring set as an example. And the main things that you'll want to do is obviously create an image for the mystery ring set perhaps a description as well too. And then key things to look at over here is setting the price and the compare at price to improve the perceived value of this product. And then optionally assigning for inventory purposes a SKU to this product. So a lot of fulfillment, the work off of the SKU, your 3PL or fulfillment provider may work off of some other things, but you're gonna wanna ensure that this product is mapped so that when the fulfillment team sees like, mystery ring set is purchased, they know what to pack for that particular order. Um, so let's say as an example, that mystery ring set is actually this simple trio ring set. What I might do is just take the SKU over here and there may be some other identifiers that your fulfillment uses as well too. And I'm just gonna pop this over here as well too so that when this is uh, placed in an order, we can ensure that this is in place. Okay, great. So we've created our mystery product. We've mapped the SKUs. Optionally, again, we can assign a limited amount of inventory to create urgency and scarcity so that the offer isn't being shown after a specific point in time as well too. So maybe what we want to do is we want to change the inventory and, you know, make this, you know, let's say, 100 units 
as an example. OK, great. So we've created the mystery gift product in Shopify. The next thing that we're going to want to do is set up an automation to tag customers that purchased the mystery product. So what you're going to want to do is inside of Shopify, you're going to want to go to Shopify Flow, or perhaps you use another automation tool. This one is included uh, in Shopify with Shopify Plus. And then we're going to want to create a workflow for tagging mystery gift purchasers. So I've got this workflow over here. Basically, it starts when an order is created. We then check to see if the line items for that particular order contain the name mystery. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to action a customer tag, and we're going to tag them with mystery product purchased. So I can go through this flow really quickly over here. We're going to want to create a workflow. Click Select a Trigger. Let's call this Tag Mystery Purchasers. We're going to start the flow when an order is created. Then we're going to check for a condition, add a criteria. And here we're going to take a look for the line items. Product. Oh, sorry. Name. You could do the product if you wanted this specific product and to do tags for each specific product. But we're going to do name. And we're going to do includes the name mystery. Then we're going to action, and it's going to be add a customer tag, purchase mystery product. Make sure to hit that. And great, we're going to turn on this workflow. So now, whenever a customer purchases a product that includes the word mystery in it, we're going to tag this customer with purchased mystery product. Great. So the next step over here is going to be creating the rebuy checkout extension. So uh, we'll jump into rebuy over here. We're going to hop into checkout extensions. If you've created extensions before, you'll see a list over here. Let's just go ahead and create a new one. And we're going to use in checkout recommendations. And we're going to call this mystery ring. So we're going to create a widget over here. And then over here on the left-hand side, we'll see the, the data source or the data source where we can basically use the, the rules that are determining the behavior of this particular widget. And we'll also see some controls for the language. So let's use some persuasive language over here uh, to get customers to purchase this mystery ring set. Limited time offer, add a mystery ring set, $50 value at 50% off. Limited stock to only 100. So we've got some persuasive language over here. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do is, so I'm just going to hit save on this really quickly, is maybe we want to update the call to action button to say add now. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do is edit the associated data source. So what I can do here is I can say, if anything, let's show specific products. And we're going to show the mystery green set. Go ahead and save this. And then what we've done with the automation as well, too, is we can also have some more dynamic language at play for customers that have this particular tag. So let's go back to the data source over here. And we'll say, if the customer tag contains 
purchase mystery product. That's it. Uh, mystery product purchased. Mystery product purchased. Then let's again show the mystery ring set. And then maybe we want the title to say, add another mystery gift to your order. And again, you can use these customers segments in your email marketing, SMS marketing to further target them for, you know, when you need to clear out some more inventory. So um, now that we've set up our checkout extension, the next step would be basically getting this inside of the checkout. So really simple to do. All you have to do is copy the widget ID. If you click this button over here, that's going to copy the widget ID to your clipboard. And then you'll head over to the checkout editor. If you want, you can actually go and do this directly via the checkout extension. And what you want to do here is if you already have some Rebuy Smart Components, great. Um, if not, go ahead and add an app block, click on Rebuy Smart Component, paste the widget ID. You can choose to optionally include this in the shop pay as well too. Hi, this extension should be set to no. And then this is it right here. You can choose where to place this. So we see a lot of success placed here in the order summary. So you wanna actually place that below the items that are in the cart. Or another place to put this that we see quite a lot of success is above the express checkout. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like on the store. I'm gonna go ahead and initiate a checkout on the online store. And you'll see over here, we've got this limited time offer, add a mystery ring set at 50% off, limited stock to only 100. Boom, we can add it. There we have it. That is the mystery gift at checkout strategy. You are now ready to supercharge your store. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us via the chat icon in the admin or at support at rebuyengine.com. And any feedback on this, of course, would be welcome at success at rebuyengine.com. Cheers.